It's a time to live, a time to dance, a time to love, it's a second chance. A time for war and a time for peace. Only grounds in Africa, my joy increase. My spirit is dancing, harmony in the streets. Smiling close to Africa is where I belong. Face to face with my roots, singing a new song. Staring at the land to ocean, falling in love. Our ancestors was here, let's release the dove. Arrived in paradise, the home of true love. Get up on your feet, let's dance to the beat. Get up on your feet, let's dance to the a time to grieve and a time to dance. Moving to the top, pure heart, clean hands. Do what you love while you still can. So everything a season gone in a glance. Live a life to the fullest on a natural high. Don't worry about your needs, the most I will supply. A time to tell, talk to friends goodbye. Time to push forward, got my wings, I can fly. Get up on your feet. Let's dance to the beat. Get up on your feet. This is the master chef. <laughs> Good exercise. <laughs> I will be learning soon. I will be learning soon. Make sure you get the video when they preparing the food. Oh yes, African culture. That's the African culture. <laughs> a lot, a lot different from the West. But I love it. But I love it. Hmm. It's been a change. Okay. Slicing OMG. <laughs> they slice in the uh This is some to get used to, baby. Some to get used to. Oh. kitchen yes honey I can do some things in the kitchen uh-huh <laughs> uh-huh okay. uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. uh-huh y'all sleeping on me uh-huh uh-huh Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, 
fuck um, is that? You and that is sharp. <laughs> Pretty, pretty. Oh well, I just saw them giving money. That's who we giving it to, the one singing. Yes, who? It's, it's she, she singing. Oh, the one singing. She the one taking up the money. Okay, okay. Nah. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mon 
Yes, dear, dear. <laughs> Cheery Jeff, madame. <laughs> <laughs>
time it has been quite of experience yes the African culture let me tell you it is beautiful I love every bit and every minute of it it is definitely different from the culture of the West but however it is our culture period the next ceremony I go to for the first time or any kind of cultural events that I go to, I will be asking questions because I be just lost trying to figure out what's going on. So I need to ask some questions so I can know exactly what is going on before, before the ceremony begins. So you all, so I didn't came out when I um, back out, everybody was seated and, and um, the lady was speaking through the um, taking up money and I thought that they was taking up money for the parents of the new baby. So money to the first person I saw taking up money. So I'm like, okay, when I can't, well, when I came out and I saw they was taking up money, I said, oh, I need to go back and get money. So I didn't ran back upstairs, ran in the house to get money, come back out. And then the first person I see, with money in their hand. I'm thinking that's a person taking up the money for the parents. So I just give the person the money. And she was like, you know, I didn't ask for, she, I guess she thought I was going to ask for change, but I didn't ask for change. I just gave the person the money because I'm like, I guess I want to give to the parents, you know? I find out toward the end of the ceremony that money, you know, they give out money to um, several people, you know? So I was like, oh, and the lady, I was wondering why the, the lady was singing to me, you know, and she was, you know, wanting, um, expecting money or whatever. And I would have gave it to her if I would have had it on me. But I'm like, um, at that point, I am still thinking that they give money, taking up money for the parents. So I'm like, oh, I gave, I gave the lady, you know, trying to let her know that I gave the other lady the money. So I didn't have any more money on me. Honey, they was give they give out money to several people. I said, I said the next next ceremony or event, I need to ask questions because I need to know exactly how do things go so I can be ready and on point, you know. Anyway, you all. So um, earlier um, in the morning, this morning. You know, it, it had already started. I guess, you know, it's just an all-day thing. So everybody was already out. The women was busy fixing up food, cooking. People, you know, just was everywhere. And I was just so happy to see everybody. Everybody looked so beautiful. And I goes around vlogging the uh, food and vlogging the women preparing the food, which is quite amazing. And so... I go out and go around back, and to my surprise, I see the sheep that I stopped to speak to last night. <laughs> I said, oh, because <laughs> my pets, um, sheep, no, he have goats, I think. They look alike, <laughs> but he have them as pets. So when I passed by the sheep, I was like, and I'm, I stopped, and I was just staring at it, and I'm like, this is a new one. I said, because uh, the, the new one had black um, spots, a couple of black spots on it. And then it had the um, the horns look like. So I had to figure out what it was. <laughs> so I'm like, is this, 
It looked like my brother pets, but I said, oh, I said, um, it's a new one here. And then somebody said, oh, that's for the ceremony. I said, oh, 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 okay. And I'm stopped smiling, talking to the um, sheep. So, you know, I still didn't think, why would it be for the ceremony? You know, I'm just clueless. But I'm like, okay, and I walked past it. Cause it was kind of, I had to walk past it to get to where I was going. So, and, um, I goes on up or whatever. So, but however, to my surprise, when I come around the corner vlogging, there go the sheep I just spoke to last night getting slaughtered. I was like, oh, oh. And everybody is just normal, you know. I, I'm like, this is amazing. And the men that was slaughtering it was, honey, they was doing it so nicely. And like, they were just used to it. It wasn't a mess. It was just neat. They were slaughtering that sheep very neatly. But that was just amazing. I was like, it is so, it's like a whole nother world here. It is so different. But however, you know, you we have to learn how to embrace the um, African culture, you know, from the Rudy to the Tutti. So, some of it, considering a lot of us born and raised in the West, yes, it will be weird, but that's why we have to be open-minded and ready for Mother Africa all the way around the board. But however, she changed, I don't know how many times, and I remember when I went to the wedding ceremony, the um, bride changed a lot like a ghost. I'm like, wait a minute, you're beautiful. You're beautiful again. You're beautiful again. I, honey, she changed four or five times. I don't know. But it was so beautiful. She was just absolutely gorgeous. And I absolutely love the fashion. The fashion is just 100% royalty, honey. Yes, honey. That sister was ready. And she just so sweet. But anyway, and that baby, oh my God, that baby is gorgeous. But Okay, you all, so yes, that's my little brief experience with the um, naming ceremony. I will ask questions next time. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you all have a nice one. Peace and blessings. Quiet and a time to speak, knowing the difference do not make you weak. I write myself happy, yes, that's unique. Be the authentic, you learn the technique. Enjoy your life as long as you can. Don't sweat the haters, consider them a fan. Shaping your life takes a positive plan. We cast down fear, our father is the man. Get up on your feet, let's dance to the beat. Get up on your feet, let's dance to the beat. It's a time to live, a time to dance, a time to love, it's a second chance, a time to live.